And now, The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Crew's all in place, both staffs in hand. It all checks out. It must be The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Big J Okerson. That dangerous son of a bitch is Dan Soder. Shut it! I said, Dan, flip back into your seat. Hey, Jay. What's up, buddy? Hey, That's we're little... live on Monday. Oh, dude, it's just good to be back. Sorry, I had to finish up with my post staff moves. Yeah. I know Some we... call it billions filming, but it was actually ninja training. Yeah, it's 90 minutes a day of just pure, <laughs> intense post staff work. I've oh, broken I... so much wood this weekend. I have to be the best. My bones must be strong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Yes, I was uh, achieving both physical, mental, and emotional balance. <laughs> As being Andy, I realized you have to always be understand. Andy. You must be Andy. You have to find your Andy. And God, I miss Andy. you, motherfuckers. We missed you too, dude. I was we had here. a fun week. We had fun guests in, but of course, it's never the same without yeah, you dude, here, buddy. Whatever. Try stepdad me out the show, bro. No one ever would dare try to do that. Try to do that. It's mom's boyfriend at best. It's a. Uh, you don't get to dance at the wedding. I get to dance, <laughs> and I walk the bitch down the aisle because it's my daughter. You uh, you missed last week. Dustin Keller came in. I know. That so was a pretty cool one. Do you remember when you got hammered at Eastville and heckled Rich Voss and you? Oh, buddy, they everybody? called me. Oh yeah, I was with like a real like, hey, come get your friend. I was there. Well, I said it was funny. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, and it was like I he was up. like going nuts. Yeah. By the way, I went up. It was a pretty good set, <laughs> but I was in the room. They weren't in the room yet. They came after my set, and it was started. Do they masquerade Bonnie McFarland? Bonnie so. was the one that Bonnie was the one that it got. That's where it got out of hand, yeah. and then Rich went up, and then it got into a thing. And then he went up there, and then Lewis and him almost got into a thing. Lewis fucking almost. Lewis was hosting, but I told you what what it was was that uh, that was it. That was rookie year. Yeah, young. Jets. Money and it was the girl that it was the whatever girl he was with was the His one wife that, now oops, lovely woman <laughs> fantastic no but I'm telling you they were young it was it was ten years ago almost Jesus Christ it was isn't that crazy I and mean, I was getting hammered they at the time they didn't have a liquor license so they're just selling grain alcohol yeah you know that knockoff the way that oh well, yeah, yeah the yeah. other club rice, does rice alcohol it's like rice but it's not booze it's somehow it's like oh it'll fuck your day up though dude Admiral Nelson's I think is what it's called <laughs> which is the fake. It's the, Admiral Nelson's is it's, great. It's the whiskey of that world. Uh, and I used to just do shots of it. Too. It's like fucking. It comes dude. in a clear bottle. It's all moonshine. Dude, it tastes Bath like whiskey. It tastes like cleaner. Lou, you, do you know what I'm talking about? Have you ever came across this in your travels? What's it called? Grain alcohol. Uh, Christine's back online, so now she could look it up. But it's like grain alcohol. It's not grain alcohol. It's like. Fuck, you can sell it. Is it rice liquor? Mm -hmm. That's what it is? Yeah, because you can sell that when you have a beer and wine. That's what it was. Stocky. Okay. So when they don't have the full bar license, they could get away with selling the rice Rice liquor does, it does sound like the racist Clint Eastwood one where it's like, what are you drinking? Some of that damn rice liquor? (laughs) What do you got? You goddamn tree runners. I think calling Asian people rice liquors as is. I'm not going to go down there and buy a fake purse from one of those goddamn rice liquors. Sure, you can get a good Christmas. Christmas tree from one of those rice liquors. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, fine. You want to go down there and buy a dollar turtle from one of those goddamn yeah. bamboo shoots? Oh, wow. You're getting all Gran Torino on us with that. <laughs> Drinking rice liquor. Yeah, you could sell beer, wine, and rice liquor. Soju. <laughs> uh, a clear, colorless. No, but look it up as far as like, look up Admiral Nelson's. Look up what liquor that is. Admiral Nelson's. Because it's like, I used to get fucking hammered off that and then be. Horrifically hung over the next day. Yeah, that was when I thought. Oh yeah, it's gotta be. You want to know how much garbage I am? This is when I thought that vitamin water had vitamins in it. Hell yeah! So I drink it like it was healthy. Why wouldn't you believe that? You always told me one rule you live by: you believe everything Fifty Cent tells you. Everything, (laughs) everything that Curtis Jackson tells me, I live it. You 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 party every day like it's your birthday. My vitals, and you don't even give a fuck. It's not your birthday. Hell no, dude! I do upside down crunches (laughs) for for that reason alone. In Uh, laboratories, you don't even know it. You don't even know it. But I'm con- I'm wearing all day long Kevlar. Guess what I say? G unit. I mean spiced rum. 
this is spiced rum, but it's not. By the way, Captain Morgan, it's his admiral. Dude, it's Admiral Nelson. It's Captain Morgan's knockoff. I mean, really, he's doing a stance with the same kind of shit, the curvy sword. Yeah, he goes, listen, Captain Morgan's a cunt. I'm Admiral <laughs> Nelson. Dude. Yeah, Captain, Captain Morgan was cool until he went, like, electric. He goes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I uh, I believe in having a higher rank in the Navy, in the Booze <laughs> Navy. Oh, yeah, Captain Morgan was good. And then he got out. Yeah. That's right. He gave up on you. Dis- honorable, I'm a lifer. He got honorable discharge as soon as he can get out. But a lot of people don't want to talk about that. But not Admiral Nelson. Yeah. Still here, man. Admiral Nelson, you know what I'm going to do? Protecting your borders. One day I'm going to be a, probably, I would like to end up being a commander. <laughs> commander Nelson's spiced rum. He goes, it's in the spice rum Navy, I'm fucking top dog. I'm Commodore. <laughs> three stripe. Oh, that's a three stripe. Uh, that's a three stripe Admiral. You salute Admiral, Admiral Nelson. <laughs> Captain Morgan, you're playing bones in the fucking, in the washroom with. Meanwhile, they're selling it like under underground poker games <laughs> yeah is it real is it full-on rum is it real rum yeah it looks like it's just you know the cheap version god i want to know what Morgan. that fucking whiskey was called it was called like i'm trying to find like well dr- drinks it, made with it it's the it is rice liquor it's fuck man this is gonna bum it's me so out gross. and the only person that could answer this question i don't talk to because he owns he owns the comedy club and he's a cunt Marco, yeah. get him on the horn. Uh, Let's ask him about his cheap business dealings. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what was the shady liquor you sold for four years? Hey, what was the ethnicity of those people you made work overnight and didn't really pay them? Remember when you used to burn their feet? <laughs> if they disobeyed you? Yeah. Who was that kid you stabbed to prove the rest of them that you would kill if they didn't do their work fast? Do you remember that? Okay, no? Okay, well, good luck with everything. All right, well, I hope the new place works out. Dude, I... Well, I was thinking Dustin Keller came in yeah. speaking of uh, of football I think I would say your week was a good week I know it was a loss but it was a good week Niners just making too many mistakes they're the they're the best mistake filled team one in three team in the NFL what are the mistakes you mean in plays like they're just, play calling they're getting fucking injured man I'll tell you this I wear the Zubaz every week we wouldn't have week. to do a play calling play calling spot on play calling is pr- not bad dude they're fucking moving the ball. It's, no, I know. It's just hilarious to think that you would defend your friend's position on everything. Yeah, no matter what he goes. The defensive coordinator can suck a dick. He goes, Robert look, Sala, there's just, one, there's just one thing really holding that team together. Run game coordination. And it's just straight up uh, offensive coordination. I go, no, but you go run game coordinator. This was a very specific title. Oh, is that what his? He's run game? Cool. I think like Kyle's technically head coach, offensive coordinator, and right. Mike is run game coordinator. That's really funny, though. Goes, yeah. I mean, look, listen. The run is, game. Is it coordinated? Co- coordination wise? Coordination wise. Couldn't be better, actually. I think the run game's tip top. Probably best in the NFL. Now you need the talent. Now, just, <laughs> I don't know. People just need to do their goddamn jobs. Other people need now to do their jobs. Now you gotta get the talent around them. Uh, Eagles fucking lost. I watched that game with Vecchio. Yeah, I'm not too bummed about it. But a, but a very say. last set. Second, Mariota. Yeah, but I'm and, and and some weird flags and giving up plays. But I'll tell you what, I'm nervous to say this because I don't like. It, it's one of those weird things. My dream is that the Eagles are somehow listening to this, or will eventually catch on to it. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm slow to really throw a dig, but I'm. I believe our cornerbacks might be suspect. Okay. I think they're. Ooh, the bet the down that field is wide open. It so really if is. you're playing the Eagles, go deep. Go deep, right up the gut. Mm-hmm. I mean, slant route. One, one fake it. One fake move. <laughs> one pump fake. What do you call that? Pump uh, fake. I, not even like the stutter step. Halfway yeah, up. Yeah, it's right. And there, those two guys' hands will be on the ground. <laughs> you will run right past. It seemed to have happened every play yesterday. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's um, they should quarterbacks all right. But the quarterback is great, and the offense is great. And they're going to be fine. By the way, both those they're NFL cornerbacks, they might snap back, but they are not playing good this year so well, far. Well, C.J. Beathard actually played pretty well. He, threw a, he yeah. threw a pick, but that was like off Selleck's chest. So it was like one of those ones where it bounces off a receiver, and then a corner just catches it, and you're like, well, that's not the quarterback's fault. And is that Brent Selleck's brother? I think so. It must be. Well, if that's good. Is it Tom Selleck's son, <laughs> as I've been telling everyone. He probably. New Magnum P.I. coming out. It's all coming up Selleck. Uh, Black Lou, good weekend for him with the Cowboys. Cowboys, Cowboys Lions. Ooh, finally. But uh, are you? do you want them to turn the season around now, or are you looking at draft picks at this point, or trades and stuff, or do you want this season to like, turn around? I don't, or do you not believe it can? I always like you think to it was a fluke the, game? Uh, yeah, I'd always like to see the team do well, but to help the franchise go forward in the next five to ten years, we're going to need to refill a lot of holes, especially now on the offensive line, which was our bread and butter. Yeah, but yeah. If, if your center beats Guillaume Barre, he'll come back. That's if, yeah. If he hires Trish. <laughs> well, Trish did it. Trish can coach, yeah. You yeah. think this guy's more... Uh, yeah, more do you think my mom's a better center in the NFL than this yeah. guy? 
Actually, I'm not going to lie. My mom's past pro is off the charts. Was, oh, I'll tell you what. Your she, mom throws a shoulder block that'll make you remember it tomorrow. Dude, her drop step fucking hand to your chest is <laughs> insane. You have at least five to six seconds to find a receiver with Trish pa- pass pro. Oh, man. absolutely. You're going to be sucking wind, man. I'll tell you this. She I lays it right in your solar plex. I, it was nice growing up with a seven-step drop. <laughs> you have a lot of time to survey the field to get a lot of reads. Growing up with an all-pro mom at center, Dan learned to read the field the way an artist reads a landscape. Trish had some of the strongest hands (laughs) known to man, capable of jerking a penis off or giving a quarterback just enough time. To make history. The winds of Friday night. I want to do a poem like they used to about my mom going out. (laughs) Video video game rented, autumn in the air. The young boy knows his mom's not coming home. (laughs) Joe must have gotten off work early. (laughs) Having breakfast with a teenager. It's just part of the game. (laughs) You're like, hey, you want cereal? You go, yeah, lady that's still here. (laughs) Hey! When your mom comes home after staying out, hi, hi. Comes oh, the, is that my baby over there? So yeah. a weird, a boop, 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 yeah, go, boop, yes. weird walk towards yeah, you. Yeah. Boop, 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 uh, boop. Now I'm aware of that you weren't here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm aware that Angie woke up on our couch. Oh, I tell you, when I go out and see my mom, I go Cops? through our window and see my mom leaning in the window of a cop in a robe. In a silk robe, mm-hmm. leaning into his cop car, like to say goodbye, probably making. He's all right, baby. I gotta go pick up some. You know what's? <laughs> and they were such like. Dude, these guys were like Dennis Franzas. Yeah. Oh, oh. I thought you were fuck. I thought you meant Dennis Farina. No, I mean Dennis. She, I was hoping your mom cu- dated a, a Chicago cop. By the way, a couple of Farinas too. Yeah. But hey, there. I just want to say thanks a lot for when the kids are asleep. Leave me, you know, me letting they take it to the ground for a nice ground and pound. But dude, the one cop for sure. She had to be this one. By the cop. way, go Bears. Oh, yeah, and th- yeah, totally a total oh, dude, Dennis Franz. Philly cop. My mom was uh, was banging one like that. Uh, <laughs> I think he was married. Dude, but I'm, he, but what you gonna call? It, but he, this is the. He look, was heavier than that, though. He was heavier than that. But guy. by the way, this is the look where our pa- our moms. This is the Venn diagram where our moms <laughs> tasted men crosses over. Because I've seen and that guy. Like, I've I've met that guy so many times on a Friday night. I mean, Joe was Joe was so not that. Yeah, he looks a little like Gary. He looks like an older Gary. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Gary, had a little fronds in him. Yeah, dude. If you got some fronds, you got some gear. But, uh, you got some gear, you got some fronds. But the cop she was hooking up with looked like that. That's why I just found it so weird, because I was like, my mom was like a, like a thin, real thin 24-year-old yeah. with big, huge cans. Did she like power? Like She was probably, like a, she was probably a, a bit of a commodity in the neighborhood, I'm your, sure. Your mom respects the law. And <laughs> God damn, if uh, Trish was all office park dick... <laughs> You're out there getting fucking servitude dick. You're getting mad at the people. Protect, oh, serve, and lay down protect, his serve. Yeah, protect, serve, and blow backs out. Yeah, protect, serves, and put mommies to sleep. But I was Hi, really, I'm I really, sexy police. I'm Dennis Franz from Sexy Police. Yeah, but I don't know if my mom was like a criminal informant or something or whatever it was, but goes, I really think she could have like done so much better. She goes, go to the docks on the 3rd, 4 a.m. <laughs> yeah. She she goes, that's where the ship shipment comes in. Emilio told me this morning over hot lovemaking hashish we smoked hashish and fucked you're all just how did you get that information Terry just I did what I have to do it's just, and then it's just you in your pajamas just looking at the thing going yeah what's happening is that mom talking to a cop what's she doing oh no honey I was just sucking his dick she yeah. can't tell me she's working for him no it's not you think I was sucking his dick oh no I'm not a police informant I blew that guy she has to protect the whole thing. Sorry, I was catching a 222 from Terry. Terry right. Brasco? Yeah. Terry Brasco's hilarious. Terry Brasco. She went deep. She goes, yeah. No, I'm living this life now. My kid thinks this is who I am. Just a small-time Philadelphia tuxedo rental store manager. Or top informant for PH, for PPD. It's a good cover. It's a good cover. For the Philadelphia. For then the when I... City of brotherly love. This is real trajectory. Then when I was a little bit older... Yeah. And started needing fat kid clothes... Yeah. Magically had a job. She switched from the formal wear place... Done. To what big and tall used to be called was just casual mail. Hell yeah, dude. Casual mail XL. Yeah, but it used to be just be called casual mail when it yeah. first came out. So and they had to lean hard. But it was, uh, yeah, but it was definitely fat kid clothes. And 
she got a job managing there. Oh, convenient. So my clothes uh, always came from like my mom's job, and it was like, yeah, like these are all things like she would have to ask the government for if they want her to keep. Uh, sleeping with uh, foreign Top dignitaries th- to get their information. Dude, that's a total great way to spin our mom's dating into something cool. Oh, yeah, my or mom. Like Trish. Yeah, was my mom Trish a whore worked- or was she fucking James Bond, dude? I don't know. Did Trish sleep her way through the banking system of the rock <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she was meeting gentlemen that had ideas in the NORAD. And she got all the way to top brass until Guillaume Barre said it. My mom was at the head of Lockheed Martin's house <laughs> having cocktails. Lockheed Martin's. <laughs> what if I told you Trish had enough evidence to take down Lockheed Martin? I mean, I'm longest, talking real Blackwater shit. I mean, we are talking about off the record, we could get killed for even bringing this up stuff. <laughs> she goes, actually, Dan, he was the manager of America's Bar and Grill. I yeah. sucked his dick because I got some free wings. <laughs> You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, Ma. Got it. Sure. Got it. Free you wings. Guys, you guys ended in the parking lot at the same time. Wink, yeah. wink. Dan, look at me. Do you think I'm a fucking informant? Mm-hmm. No. You do have that Tweety Bird tattoo on your boob. I go, you got that, that blue butterfly right by your hip. <laughs> I go, hmm. Does your mom have a blue butterfly fire? <laughs> yeah. Dude, my mom. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, uh, is there a way to find on anywhere? Sure. My mom's going to have on Instagram. My mom's doofy tattoos. My mom started cracking out tattoos in her 50s. Oh, uh, no, no. Trish, this is like a fucking jail tattoo from the 60s that you see it and you're like, so far more acceptable. But it's like on her hip. It's like right here where her where her hip crack is. Yeah. You know? I've only seen it like twice and I've always been like, ah! Far more acceptable. Christine, text my mom and ask her to take a picture of her tattoos right now and send them. Is your mom all sleeved up? No, but she's got a, a tramp stamp of four hearts linked together to represent her children. Nice. Above her ass crack where Joe probably just rips lines of fucking jizz. Dude, that's so funny. Because that's like, yeah, that's him staring at, that's like when they put up um, the Super Bowl logos from Super Bowl championships. <laughs> that's like Super Bowl, that's like his Super Bowl logos. And he's like, yeah, no, they did win one before he was the quarterback there. <laughs> oh, dude. You, you gotta forget. It's really, uh, yeah, she, yeah, the extra ring is there. I'm yeah. not part of that team. He goes, no, no I know. but goes, you know. I thought Joe Montana won four Super Bowls. Steve Young got one, too. Yeah. yeah. Go, oh, cool. That's the fifth. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, never mind. You know what? I I was I didn't I forgot that. But what a weird place to memorial. Your children is on your the right above your ass crack? Your children is four hearts above your ass crack. And then on her upper back now, the these little... Devil she, wings? No, she went... No, the angel wings with my uh, grandfather's, like, you know, yeah. de- death, like life and death date. And it's that's bizarre. <laughs> it's like a weird thing to just have in the middle of your back, like a back tattoo. Because there's such like what if your mom young had girl cholo tattoos, they're, like teardrops. Yeah, but they're they're young that's girl. What all the people I kill, you see. <laughs> they're young girl going to a club tattoos. Yeah, yeah. The hands praying. Does she have that? <laughs> no, uh, she really no. On her she has a dagger. Blade? She has a dagger that says "Only the strong survive." Hell yeah! Does she really? No. Oh, dude, that'd be great. I was like, that's some. Fucking... Did she get the Iverson tattoo? Oh, dude, that'd be so great. That's commitment to the Sixers. She has a Georgia bulldog she's got uh yeah she has a tasmanian, my young mom yeah. yeah she has tasmanian devils that's yeah. tear yeah i'm telling you my mom she had a big honker but uh but i'm telling you she she was all tits yeah <laughs> yeah I super mean, dude, thin all tits good for her i guess and nose is that my uncle barry hell yeah, yeah. oh no it's no it's it's uh, billy breslow that's the that's the brother of the guy that could have been my dad, the guy she was dating before. This is Billy Breslow. His brother's name was Cliff. Yeah. Cliff dated my mom before my dad when they were teenagers. How did you, you know, she have me? My, yeah, she, your parents met at a bowling alley, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hell met yeah. at a bowling alley. <laughs> she broke up with Cliff. I'll always believe, because yeah. the only story I ever heard about Cliff <laughs> is that they went to go see a Clockwork Orange in the movie theater, and he got so scared he had a, he had a seizure. <laughs> what? So basically, he seizured his way out of being your dad? <laughs> and I just, my mom never said this, but I just think you can't respect a guy after yeah. that happens. He goes, he goes, so they're going to, he goes, oh, wow, they're really keeping his eyes open. Because so <laughs> you, <can't, laughs> yeah. you, you know, like the sound of it, it's like medicinally. It was that part. It was med- the part of the fucking. It's medicinally scary. So he goes, he goes, wow, they're keeping his eyes open to watch this. <laughs> uh, 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 she goes, scary. She goes, Cliff, Cliff. I'm freezing up. Uh, is, his name, is his name Cliff? 
Uh, Cliff, yeah. yeah. Cliff, someone grab his wallet. Put it in his mouth. <laughs> uh, Could have been Big J Breslow. Yeah, dude. Big Me and my J. dad, Cliff, that's Joe. Joey. Joe. Dude, big, so funny. Big J Breslow. My mom's holding it together. Look. Yeah, Terry looks great. It's so funny how all moms have the same haircut. <laughs> my mom's finally letting her hair drop. Uh, uh, yeah. Just go flat. She used to put these stupid... Look at that big dumb curl on the back. Oh, it's dude. ridiculous. You know how long she looks like a her? basket case who just took out like curlers yeah. and ran out of the house and forgot to do anything <laughs> after that. It like She kept the swoops. It looked like a skate park on her head. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, I want to show you... <laughs> and she had fucking ramps and uh, loop-de-loops. And loop the Yeah, loops. I was the first person to do the loop. <laughs> I hit the loop. I, I That's what Jay said. Our mom, the first person to complete the loop. Our mom, our moms really do have the same. The swoop. Your mom does the swoop thing. No, she doesn't have the swoop, but she has the same like. Um, it's just really over poofed for some reason. Yeah. And my mom's not an old woman. She's just like she's sixty. She should turn sixty. She's Rich Voss's age. You know what I mean? And she's like, so she's like relatively young. I wish I could find uh, a I'm mom trying, for I'm my trying age, to find a good, yeah, like. So, the dish, there she is. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. it, dude. They can totally kick it. Yeah. They get the same haircut. <laughs> my mom can't wait to smoke weed. I know she can't. Oh, she dude. can't for work. Oh, for work? Yeah. But she's talked weirdly lately more about it. My mom, I told you she did too many edibles when we got recreationalized and she got fucked up. She's like, I'm good. <laughs> She's like, it's too powerful, Dan. She goes, I haven't so got this high is since recently. The She's like, I haven't got high since the 80s. Recently? I, I told that story. I thought, can you take my mom's giant face off the TV? <laughs> it's haunting. No, I like it. Try to make oh, yeah. Bigger. Hell yeah. And I've just started making another one big. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. I don't want to put my mom's picture out there. No, no, no. I'm not putting these out there. Yeah. This is just for us. Trish has got to stay off the radar. You got to keep TNT off the radar. Hey, you put my mom, and then I want people to make tribute videos where they jack off to the picture. You are way too more open than I am. Wait, what were you no, saying? No, she'll like that. I'll make a video of that montage for her birthday. Uh, I'm oh, not tweeting nice. your mothers out. That would, Wait, what were you we talking about before that? Right before that? Fuck. Mm, before what? Our moms? No, I said get her face off. We were joking around about... Fuck, God damn it. Oh, yeah, it was going to be good. But okay. my mom... Uh, this is my mom. Oh, this this is my oh I know what we're talking about. Uh, the bre- uh, Cliff. Cliff having yeah, a seizure. Was, no, I know. No, that was gone. such a. Uh, that guy could have been my dad, though, possibly. That is pretty good. Maybe he'd have been great. I'd have been far more Jewish. That's for goddamn sure. My mom had a husband before my dad named Richard, and <laughs> never looked this guy up. Did your mom look, never look him up? Now my mom got married when she was like nineteen, and it went for like two years, and she's like, "This is a big mistake." But you never looked him up. I tried one time, oh couldn't my find. God, him. I was see what Richard is now and everything. Don't oh. you want to see what, what could have been your dad? I want to look up my stepdad, Nick, because he was cool as shit, and then he was just gone. Can you look up Cliff Breslow? Can you look up? Uh, Let's just try. That was that was Billy Breslow. Look on his uh, friends. If I'd like to see what the guy looks like now, who I probably would be. I think I might be bald. Mm. Unless it's your mom's dad, they say, right? It's mom's dad. Yeah. If not, I think I really would like at least have like a receding thinning hairline. And if, they, if I had that, I would just kill myself. <laughs> oh, Jacob, that's, no offense. That would be you, your Jacob, Uncle Cliff. But it's okay for me. That's that, your Uncle Cliff. Is that right? him? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. That's Cliff. That's no, Cliff. it's not. Yes, it is. That's not him. Yeah, why? Well, uh, it looks like it matches up, profile dude. Profile picture. It's just. That's him, dude. No, and it's not. He's friends with your mom. I think she may have looked up the wrong person herself. You think she screwed it up? You think Terry added the wrong ex-boyfriend? I do. I do. He probably wouldn't. He also wouldn't be Clifford, I don't think. Look up Cliff. I think that's him. I think you just don't want to admit the fact that that's your father. No. That should have been your no, father. No, I, I, just, I, I just sort of know what he, what, what he would look like more. You know what I mean? I have an idea. It wouldn't be that. that that's not the guy at all. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this guy, Christi- I'm gonna the give guy Christine I know is the name. having a seat as having a wild seizure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Terry, put my wallet in my mouth. She goes, oh my God, he's doing crowd work off it. Uh, you go, you're I'm watching. smelling peanuts. <laughs> uh, I think this is how you spell this guy's last name. So this one is my mom's first husband. Okay. Uh, wait, I think it's, yeah. It donkey dick. Donkey, Douglas. she goes, this guy. Put. <laughs> I kind of. My dad had a weird wife for like two years when he was nineteen. There might be. That's Bridget. definitely my stepdad. Look up my stepdad. I want to see if that dude's there. That's the fucking. That's Nick. 
the giant guy with a fucking hammer. Oh, Nick and Joe, I'd love to see so bad. Oh, dude, I'll, you want to look up Joe? I'll fucking bring up. I'll bring up my Joe. I'm looking at that cocksucker. Let's, sucker let's take our first break years. and then we'll come back and we'll see where we can go. Oh, dude, I'm gonna get fired How up if we, we find Joe. Dude. I'll show you my mom's. Boy- I'm gonna get fucking. I do not like Joe. I'll show you my mom's radio boyfriend. Hell yeah, let's go. Jr. Russ, dude, it's fucking ghost of mom's dick Hell passed yeah, on dude. the bonfire. We'll be right back. <laughs> This is my mom. I'm kidding. This is my mom. In bed, in many bedrooms, bedtime is complicated. <laughs> you know what he means. Especially as the weather begins to cool. One person sleeps soundly, the other is freezing or way too hot. Well, Bowl and Branch make her the world's most comfortable sheets, loved by three U.S. presidents. Did you know that, Jacob? Three U.S. presidents. Jay? Yep. You are aware of that. Oh, absolutely. It's the only thing that keeps me from uh, fist fighting Christine at night. It is. It's that you know that that digni- dignified men sleep on the same sheets. Mm-hmm. And they're offering their luxury flannel bedding for a limited time at BowlingBranch.com. They're unbelievably soft, warm, and breathable. That's a big thing in the winter. You want, when you're hot, you want to still be able to have it breathable. So have be, yeah, to get warm. Yeah, you don't want it to be all bunched be hot. up. Oh, man. But it's and then hot where it just like sits on you and doesn't move. Not Jacob. Jacob wants to sleep in a pot. Like a yeah, he's crockpot. He got captured by an island tribe or yeah, something. Yeah, we call him crockpot batat. Uh, so everyone stays the right temperature. The flannel sheets come in fourteen stunning patterns and colors, guaranteed to find a style you love. Plus, try them thirty nights risk free. It's pretty awesome. So you just send them on back if you don't like them. Dope. But whatever you do, don't wait. Last year, their flannel sheets sold out in just a few weeks. So go to BowenBranch.com today and $50 off your first set of sheets plus free shipping with the promo code BONFIRE. That's $50 off plus free shipping right now at BowenBranch.com. Come promo code BONFIRE. And now, back to the Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. You're listening to Sirius 106 Untucked Stepdad Rock WNTK You're not his dad And you're not his friend (laughs) You're not Gary Or Paul (laughs) Untucked Paul's a great name for your dad's friend. We, your dad had great friend names guy. too. I, mine was a my dad is a brother guy. Oh uh, yeah, my dad's buddy uh, guy Jim, his alcoholic roommate. Uh huh. Jim was a great name. Um, I'm trying to think. Of my dad, I think my I think my dad had a Teddy. Mm. Teddy. Dude, Teddy was. I'm not joking when I talked about Dan's liquors. Who, by the way, shout out to everyone that like went and took a picture of it in Mill Valley. A, a couple <laughs> people did, and it was fucking hilarious. The garbage guy that worked the route, whose name was Teddy, and he was the one that would hook us up with the 49ers tickets and wrestling tickets. And my dad was like, hey, he's mobbed up. And I was like, what? And then I found out in San Francisco, like most big cities, the waste management's kind of controlled by the mob, was or was controlled by the mob. It's so fantastic. We, we were able to look and see some of these people, right? I'm not finding pictures. I want to I want to remember my dad's... Even when Friend. you Google that name, nothing comes up on Google images, huh? I'm trying to remember my dad's well, they, friend's they name who we live with. Different spellings. My dad said he stopped. That's the right spelling. My dad said he stopped hanging out with a buddy of his. Yeah. Because I think this was when he left my first stepmother. Yes. Who you liked? Oh, she was great. No. Yeah. Uh, she was great. But when he left, again, I was young though, you know. But when he left, and he didn't want to feel like bad about it later, I think he concocted a bit of a thing about her. He's like, you know, she was she wasn't all that great. Like she slept with my friend, but I can't remember what it was. Oh. It was just a great guy with feathered hair, but my friend, whatever. And then my dad told me, "Is this? It's so classic. Like Corey Feldman is that same thing. It's it's a, it's an ego saving thing. It's right? the same thing. But he does this. It was like, yeah, he slept with her. So he had to make himself seem like a victim. Yes. Or he goes, but you know, it's also no big deal. I just went back and I went back and banged his wife. That's like the story he told me. Oh yeah. But there's oh, yeah. no fucking way that's true. That he went oh, back yeah. and banged his wife there's after not a he. Chance. He goes. There's just a lot of swinging. It was. Oh, 70s, what the 80s. hell was his name? It was a good one. It might have been Billy also. That's why I think I'm I think I'm second guessing myself because we already had Billy Breslow up. Okay. What is this, Christine? Who do you have up? She's here? looking up my uh, my mom's boyfriend who's none of these guys are him. He was the one that would swim. Uh I keep going down cuz the first top 3 aren't him. Unless he's all cracked out or dead. If he's dead, I'd kind of feel bad, but then I'd be like, "Yeah, fuck him." Uh yeah, he ain't coming up. You look up my mom's JR Russ. That's a good one. 
That was the DJ that used to play songs for me. Dude, we were actually just talking about him uh, before the show. We were. No, JR is great. JR comes to see me every time I'm in Philadelphia. Still friends and everything. Yeah? Yeah. My mom's one of those friends with a lot of people. She uh, fucked, I think. Well, you were just in saying. her life, so I think that's weird. My stepfather is pretty cool about. He's pretty mellow about the fact that there's a lot of dudes around. I think that he's probably hung out with it if uh, banged my mom. That is that's you got to be Possibly. a comfortable. You got to be a comfortable man to be cool with that. Yeah, you have to be really like comfortable with yourself to be like, yeah, I don't care, whatever. Yeah, they're just kind of floating around. <laughs> You're just gonna come across <laughs> one. Yeah, I was hoping to find my stepdad. Can't he's not on. I, I'm like getting close, but then you're like, man, it would just be. It's it's so weird to see the age difference because they really aren't online. Like when we're their age and they look us up, they'll be able to find. Is that him? Yes, dude. Dude, fuck yeah, J.R. Russ. <laughs> it's great. It's got a bio, but uh, there it is. He worked in D.C. and we used to go down to V.C. D.C. to visit him when he moved. But uh, he did all the radio stations. Is there a thing of his? You could listen to him. Like, let's listen to him. Is there a way to listen to him? playing music hold on I think I found my stepdad <laughs> <laughs> hold up hold up so now it's just gonna be regular radio right it's not gonna be him. yeah it's, it's, it's gonna be him yeah it's gonna be live radio he's gonna be like hey out there wishing I was Jay Okerson's father <laughs> you're listening to winger I wouldn't have missed one of your games pal I would have been there and been supportive I'll tell you this you wouldn't have to pimp your personality out for profit and or love coming now, back coming, with Shabbat coming back with other Come back with OMG's How Bizarre. 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 Damn it, man. Nick, why can't you be online? You didn't last, find him? Last time I saw Nick, I was all, oh, dude. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. You got him. Got him. You could tell it's him. Fuck yeah. I know that big son of a bitch anyway. I want to see Randy, too. Can you get it to Christine? Oh, wow. That's fucking <laughs> him, dude. I can't see from over he here. It looks like, like if a 90 year old man became a jockey, but that's just the colors. No, and you can tell away. how big he is in the picture. You can tell he's a giant dude. And my mom would get him so mad. That Dan, look at that six, bow six. staff right there. I wish he'd come at you now. Look at that bow staff. No, he, right oh, dude, no, no. Nick was that is shit. your arm. Nick was the shit. Nick was always cool to me, man. <laughs> Nick, Nick was fine. Joe is, Joe stinks. Nick's good peeps. I Nick's good see peeps. Joe so bad. Last time I saw Joe, last time I saw Nick. Look at men's over 70, uh, men's over 70 swimming. What, uh, dude, Aurora, Colorado. I'll tell you this. If there's water, he's ripping through it right now. <laughs> yeah. Where there is water, you will find Joe. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my old stepdad. I want to see him. Yeah. Um, oh, I love that he's holding an award for something. For fly fishing. <laughs> really? Yeah, because we used to, he, I didn't know, he must have gotten into it, but he used to, we used to go camping all the time. He was like an outdoors guy. I feel like I, I don't he know built, his voice, but I could do a voice for this picture. Oh, I'll show you. Now, Dan? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but look at it here. For everybody else who doesn't know his actual voice, it really does look he's going to do the, buddy, I'd love, nothing would do, I'd, I'd love to have the honor of having a football yeah, catch with you. He had a voice like this. He a, his voice is very deep. You? And he'd go like this. My mom would piss him off and he'd go, stop it! <laughs> stop it! Boy, Dude, my mom and I still laugh about that. She would get him so fucking mad, she'd just yip at him and then he'd just go, stop Stop it! <laughs> like, dude, it made me laugh by the end. I was a psycho. I must have looked like a psycho at eight years old laughing at this guy fucking yelling. Like, ah, you fucking dope. I know, uh, I know I'm know. i not doing the right impression, but can I just make the lose laugh? Because it's very fun to do. Can you do it again? Yeah. I just think me and you <laughs> can spend some time together getting to know each other. We can be friends. I'll get to know your friends. We can maybe go fishing. Are you any good at fishing, sir? Oh, I don't know. Ask the bass fishing awardsman who gave him my honors last week. Oh, but oh, boy. Ah. Now let's wake up. Make sure we have a hearty breakfast. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I am somewhat fish. <laughs> I take to water naturally. He goes, oh, now look, gutting a fish yeah. isn't fun, but sometimes yeah, you gotta get through the ugly <laughs> if you want to find the beauty. I, I gotta find another picture of Nick because. Now, together. Way, this, was, this, was the, this was the dude. With Look at the picture while I'm doing it. Oh. Now, together, me and you ain't got nothing but time and opportunity to get to know one another. We can be friends, or I will gladly 
beat you to smithereens in front of your mama. <laughs> Young man, if you talk to me that way, man, I will beat you within an inch of your life. That's, I don't, I don't. All the bow staffs in the world aren't going to be able to protect you That's Joe. from the beating I'm about to uncork on you. That's not Nick. I just looked it up. That's a different guy. Fuck. Oh, good. So can, can his voice be the thing I'm yeah. doing? Hell yeah. Now, I don't know. Why am I so satisfied with catching fish out the river? I don't know. That's a good question. Everything about me breathes fishing. I love fishing. But also, in my downtime, with your mom. I love your mother. Would you what? Would your mom be friends with any of them online? Dude, or my, like, let me tell you something. My like, mom is not Terry. Out. You think she circles back to get some of that old dick? Christine no. says a lot of girls don't want to up their numbers, so they just end up fucking people they don't like that no, much. No, no, no. Let me tell you something about Trish. She burns the bridge walking off the island. Yeah? Yeah. Just lights a match. Uh, Viking funeral? Viking funeral every time. Kicks Joe off the sea and then Dude, fucking fires a... Uh, I'll go to war with Trish any day, because I know how she ends it. She ends it. Hard. Hard. It's Ain't no hard coming cut. back. I'll tell you this. Joe, uh, Nick... My stepdad, that was ended the most decent, and he only had one or two. Re- he only showed up one or one or, one or twice more. Me and your mother just had problems, oh, but couldn't get past. Oh, Dan, have you ever? Dude, so funny. I look up my stepdad, and you <laughs> see a picture of look like me. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? That's fucking microwave Dan. Yeah, that's if. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Oh, gross. That's Admiral Dan. Oh, no. <laughs> you're, cap- you're Captain Dan. That's Admiral Dan. Oh, Pippa, no, no. Oh god. Yeah, dude. I want to. I wish I could find him, but it's so weird. You can't find that generation. I mean, unless your your mom dates a successful radio DJ. Jesus. Yeah, is there any more pictures of Jr. Hey, you're listening. To, you're listening to Terry's favorite radio station. Coming up, there's a kid that I should be his dad, but I'm not. <laughs> Love you, Terry. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. This goes out to Terry and Jay. I uh, could have given you a better life. I really should interview my mom better. I, I have would, so many questions. I never asked. Well, her. we if had any, this idea. I, if, yeah, if any guys like asked to marry her besides Joe. So we had this idea. Um, we're, we're trying to put together this show. We can't announce it, but there's a possibility that we might do a bonfire of the mom tapes. And oh, yeah. interview Trish. Me and Jay will interview my mom in Denver. And then we'll interview Terry in Philly. In Philly, we'll go down to my mom's house. And we'll just sit down and have like a real conversation. Just would talking be, about... Oh, dude, my mom and Cause, Joe cause together. Want, my mom and Joe's good to have there because Joe and, will throw my mom... My, Joe will whip my mom under the bus. And, and, and Trish... Is, oh, yeah. She, I think she's fucked the two guys at a time several times, I think. <laughs> Trish And Trish will sit down like a mafia boss without a lawyer. She knows how to, she, she knows how to negotiate. She goes, She'll light one up and just put her arm over, she over goes, the back of the chair. She just didn't see nothing. Fire. Fire, boys. Uh, yeah, I go, Nick... I, I go, Jay, you want to bring it up? You go, Nick's dick size. She goes, fulfilling. <laughs> what are we talking? What are we talking? Uh, LRG. Length of girth, baby she boy. Goes, <sighs> Both. Yeah. Then she then she does the the basic instinct cross. Go, oh, God Jesus, mom, it. mom, it's I'm sitting here. Why would you do that with me sitting here too? Jay, why are you sweating like Newman? Oh my God, you're like. <laughs> oh boy, I think the dish just showed me a little split. He goes, dish has got muff. <laughs> Dish got muffed. Dish got muffed. Well, that's a hashtag or a t-shirt. Dish got muffed. Dish got muffed. Um, dude, we gotta find... <laughs> Dish we, got muffed. We have to find the fucking... We have to find pictures of a lot... Oh, Sarah McPants says a lot of us had quickie marriages at 19, okay? Oh. I wasn't fucking judging. Relax. This was the 70s, McPants. I know. Yeah. They were doing blow, but it wasn't even called cocaine yet. It was called Sarah like... Sarah lives though, like in hillbilly land where uh-huh. they could like... You're kind of like encouraged almost to do that. Yeah. That is funny. She's like, yes, everyone got married at 19. You're like, McPants, McPants, was that because you didn't want to have sex until you were married or something? Was it one of those things? Or, or you were you a this, child bride or you blessed by one, one hill family to another <laughs> hill family? Yeah. Did somebody trade you for a chassis to a 86? He goes, I got three good hogs and two bags of grain. I'll take it. If my son can take your wife and his daughter, I would like him to seed her. And then, whatever children are provided, we shall divvy up between the farms <laughs> to work the fields. 
That's a McPants. That's a solid plan. It's a McPants pre- promise. Can I see Cliff then? If that's actually Cliff, if you're right that about that. That is Cliff, dude. That could have been your Cliff, dad. Because he does not dude. look at all I want to like know. I'm going to te- I'm gonna text the dish right now. I want to know my the full name of the the lady that Trish stole Gary away from. Ooh. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude. Fucking Trish walking in with those. Wait, who did that, she take a guy from? With that, she took my dad away from her friend oh, oh. Paula. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, There's no yeah. more pictures of this guy at all. No. Well, look at him. What does he do? Is he like a, a lawyer or something? It looks like he's a. Uh... Could have visited him in Boca Raton. <laughs> yeah, you guys could be friends. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh man, like you could visit him in Boca Raton. Yeah, it's definitely him. Boca Raton. It's where they all went. My uh, my uncle moved down there. I, I, I don't have an enemy to go. By the way, is that his wife? I don't. I'm not trying to be. If that's his wife, I'm not trying to be a son of a bitch. But my mom. Oh my definitely. God, tear! Mom held up, nice. dude. Yeah, you win that one. That's why I want to look up. Oh man. Oh my lord. Yowzer. Well, that's what happens when you fucking dork out at a fucking movie. You queen guess what? Bag. Guess what she does? She's good at implementing a fucking wallet in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, she'll get a spoon in your mouth before you swallow your own tongue. You fucking dork. She goes, "I'm here more as a nurse than a wife." <laughs> She goes, we can't watch scary movies. He goes, I lose it. <laughs> he goes, yeah, I just will. I'll hit the deck. Look up that. I'll bite off my own tongue. <laughs> okay. I wonder if that's her, that's her maiden name. But my mom comes back hot as shit right with it. I've texted my mom like, hey, I need to talk to you about something. Won't get a response for two days. I'm like, hey, what was dad's girlfriend before you? <laughs> and just fucking, <laughs> and just the bubbles come up. She gets mad. Uh, no, she she took she won. My mom, yeah, won. Just, that's true, dude. Yeah. This girl called my mom's dad because they went down to Fresno to meet my mom's parents, and she called my mom's dad and was like, "Your daughter's a slut." <laughs> <laughs> my mom used to. Uh, she says she didn't date, but it's, again, my mom just young. I think she was just banging a couple dudes, and this guy named Tony, yeah, who coming out definitely. Again, if, I'm sure if I, I'm not going to get my mom and talk to her. Tony was probably. A cokehead, yeah. <laughs> house painter guy, looked exactly how you're hoping. Wore sleeveless shirts, like yes. was yeah, like, like yeah. he was like forty year old in shape guy. You know what I mean? But in shape just from doing like manual labor stuff. His hands always had paint all over him. Smoked cigarettes way down to the fucking filter. Yeah, like just that guy, mustache, kind of feathered hair. Good morning, Julia. And like yeah, like but like uh that. Hang on. Yeah, like sailory tattoos. Yeah, and stuff. yeah. Oh, dude, like the old school fucking real tattoos. And I'm pretty sure they hooked up, but they stayed friends. I want to get on the phone almost. That's but definitely. They, they stayed. They stayed friends. <laughs> and when he started dating somebody else, it was like a younger, real younger chick. I remember being a kid and thinking she was pretty cute, but she was really like, like brown tooth garbage. But oh, like, dude. she was just like young and and just like a skinny. She was like a girl who would like fucking be fucking a forty year old. Yeah. God, I remember whatever their situation was. Again, I was in these things. I forget about these like volatile situations of like that girl at one point. My mom, she that girl babysat me before. Yeah, I believe after she tried to fist fight my mom. Weird. Another time, a girl tried to fight my mom for what I believe is fucking her man. <laughs> Dude, hell yeah. Well, you forget all of it, and then you're an adult. Because when you're a kid, you're a kid, and like a parents or you're adults, and they have like an adult life. But then you're an adult, and you look at your parents as adults, and you're like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> what was that all Because, dude, my mom, all of a sudden, my phone is blowing up, because my mom's like, what are you guys talking about? Why is that? I'm like, we looked up Joe and Nick, and we couldn't find them online, and my mom's like, ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I go, yeah, no pictures of Joe or Nick on Google. My mom goes, no shit. <laughs> like, yeah, like, dude, Trish just carries herself like a fucking old detective. Where she's like, I don't know, that son of a bitch. He had a hell of a hook. <laughs> uh, I want, I want Christina almost to text my mom see if she can call the show. I don't know if that's that might not be the right lady, but if so, good for Gary. That's the, the, oh yeah, you know what I mean. That nice. was the girl that my dad dated before he met my mom. That's the girl that called the house. She goes, yeah, she's very pretty and goes. She won't pretty no more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She call, I, I, that might not be her though, because that's dish. her maiden name, and I think the dish lumped her up, dude. The, yeah, the dish is like, why don't you? Oh, is that it? I looked at this one. Oh, I buddy. Hope it's that one. Oh, buddy. I think that's it. 
that's got a lot more Gary vibe on it than anything. <laughs> yeah, dude. That first lady, I go, what a classy dame. And I'm like, oh, no, this is her. This is what I picked Party too. sunglasses? Oh, hell this yeah. This is my yeah. Aunt Vicky and my Uncle Cracker, and I swear they look like yeah, <laughs> it just the, could be the same people. Oh, my God. Yeah, it really is. Like, those are people that get very drunk still. Yeah, <laughs> those fucking tomato faces. Yeah, dude, but that is, to- that, I think that's her. That's gotta be her. That looks like it. And that by the way, it's like enough. It's a Gary. Oh, dude, this yeah. is a, every picture we put up here looks like the night shift of a bowling alley. Yeah, dude. It, really it, does. Looks, like, it looks like you go, you go, can I get on lane four? Goes, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. You, you gotta know, pay for the shoes. Yo, Glore, hit the fucking wax the lanes. Yeah, dude. Oh, man, that is so fucking funny. Yeah, that's def- That's gotta be her. Don't you think that's her? Hold on. I, let, let me do this. <laughs> let me take a picture and send it to my mom and be like, yo, is that... This is why I like technology. Because you can be like, hey, is this... Is this the chick you snaked? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Dude, because I, I know Trisha's is right by her phone right now, like, this motherfucker's doing research. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to text my mom and she'll call the show. No one else, Christine won't help. My mom's watching another person's child, so she can't. So she's just irresponsibly texting while she's supposed to be working. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's a nanny. Really? Yes. And the guy. Nice. That, I hope she just tells her old fucking sailor stories to these oh, guys. Oh, dude. She goes, let me tell you something. She goes, well, it was boy. the 60s. She goes, in the 80s, you could smoke everywhere. Yeah, I drank <laughs> with my kid, but you're not my kid. What are you going to tell them? What are you guys, Facebook friends? Get out of here. <laughs> what are you? What are you, nuts? You little shit? No, but it's funny to meet the people that my mom watches their kids because they always really like my mom. Yeah. And they're like, she's really, really good disciplinarian. I'm like, yeah. I was the fucking prototype, yeah, dude. Now. <laughs> I got to it, it, all the fucking failure. Up oh, here we go. We got word back from the Rish. Yeah, it's her. That's her. Oh, yeah, 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 her. <laughs> her. <laughs> Which one? This one. This one here. Yeah, my mom <laughs> that's her. <laughs> dude, that looks like that girl looks like a lady who fights your mom. Yeah, like, for a guy. That, but that looks like a lady that would call another person's house and call hey. their daughter a slut. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that is so great. Uh, dude, Trish just goes, that's her. Oh, man, I bet she has a whooping laugh. Oh. <laughs> oh, God damn it, Gary. You got me again. <laughs> oh, dude. That's a roughie. Oh, dude. That's great. I mean, Jesus, he wasn't fucking her now. He's been dead for 21 years. We kind of no, put... put I, oh, yeah, I'm putting, I'm putting perspective. I'm sure she was... That uh, could have been my mom. Oh, dude, I'm sure she's a smoke show. <laughs> <laughs> you go, oh, she, she was bad. great. Yeah. I'm glad you want the woman that your mom took the your dad away from to be some fucking super hot chick. She's great. She's I don't fantastic. know. It's weird. It's just weird that that's the... No, no, no. She's great. So I'm sure she's super happy. Also, my mom was it. friends with her. You dig into her life. It'd be great if she's on a fucking... Dude, if she's on a yacht right now. Oh, dude, living. Her life. kids are on Saturday Night Live. Yeah. I go, oh my God, Beck, Beck Bennett is her son? Get the fuck out. And Mikey Day? How is that even possible? <laughs> They're brothers. It's the lady that was supposed to be your mom, starring <laughs> Gloria and her sons, Beck Bennett, Mikey Day, musical guest, Gary and the Sorosis. Should we, should we take our second break? Sure. And then uh, come back. I'm going to see if my mom will call the show. Cause my mom, I'm going to find out right now how many times my mom's almost had to fight a person for fucking their... their I'm going to find pictures of stepdads. Yeah. <laughs> We're going all in. We're, fucking... We're diving in today, everybody. It's the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, you're not trying to replace him. You just want to be my friend. It's Untucked Rock, W-U-N-T-K... Bringing you all the hits from your stepdad and randoms your mom went home with. Rando Rock. <laughs> mom Rando Rock? That should be its own yeah. subgenre. Uh, so yeah, is this Rando Rock of mom, songs? Mom Rando Rock? Hell yeah. Oh my god. Dude, Kenny Loggins is heavy in that rotation. Yeah, that's that. That tu- You know what Mom Rando Rock is? Whatever the tuning of the guitar is. Yeah. And put on... Was it just a song before I go? Yeah, just a song before I go by Crosby, Stills and Nash. But whatever the tuning of that guitar is, is trying to bed up your mom for sure. I bet there's a musician listening that could tell us that when we play this, because they would know it's like, because then we just look for songs in that t- in that tune. 
Anyways. <laughs> I mean, how fucking does that yes, get on my waterbed music? Yes, listen, I think it's tough going through a divorce. <laughs> that's that's the back music of this. Well, of course, he's gonna need someone to look up to. <laughs> I said we finish our drinks, put out these cigarettes. Yes. Look, I, just do it after I, I say you, the word. Uh, I think I show you this waterbed. <laughs> yeah, just after I say the word, start it over a little bit, stop it, and when I say the word, hey, yeah, kick it in. All right, it's just a funny thing to do. It goes, he goes, he goes. You got here, uh, hey. Why don't you uh, come in for a few minutes, <laughs> hang out, you know, whatever, just have a drink, then you can go. Hold on, let me let me do it again. Come on, anyways, uh, why don't you sit down and have a drink? Let me. Do you always wear your hair down? <laughs> Lighting a cigarette? I don't know what it is. I don't usually have sushi on a weekday, but I'm feeling a little different tonight. Why don't we go in my bedroom? I can show you a new sound system I put in. <laughs> he goes, yeah, the other speakers are in the walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's a Murphy bed. <laughs> It, but yeah, it's really actually it's comfortable. It's uh, this new this thing that got this memory foam now. Like you feel, look, look, uh -huh. put, your, put your knee in that. Uh -huh. Put your knee in that. Now put, oh, now really put your weight into it. Uh -huh. Put your. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Hey, you got a wrestle move. Pin you one. Pin you one, two, three. <laughs> oh, I had a great night with you. You're fun. You're a lot of fun. <laughs> we're we're digging up our parents' bones. The music up on Figuratively it. and literally on the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J. Okerson. Yeah, we started for somehow, this is how the show always goes. We have a ton of stuff that we're going to talk about. And, then we, and we will. We will. But for some reason, we started looking up our parents' exes. One confirmed. We got a Gary kill, and now I got a confirmed Trish kill. Oh, my mom. I talked. I talked to my mom. On yeah, the break. no. You, you called. You talked. You called her. She said, uh, "Absolutely, that is uh, that's Cliff. him. That's yeah. Cliff. Bring up Cliff." But what a clip? goob. That's the problem is he goobed himself out. Uh, Pass dude. out at a horror movie. My mom can't be with you with that. My mom's got standards. Well, now he's got a wife that's there for him. Yeah. And a wife that's going to take care of him. Look, was my dad a deadbeat? Did he split? Did he not really give a shit? Sure, but I'll tell you what, he wasn't. Some pussy that fucking falls apart at a horror movie. You know what Gary does? You put on a movie, he's going to finish the movie. You know what he's not going to do? End up kicking and shaking on the ground. Well, wait a second. Now, I'm, now I'm concerned. Why? Because when I was younger, yeah, I used to really freak the fuck out at horror movies. Always watched them, but used to not have a good reaction. Did you ever like not up? sleep for weeks. Did you ever seize up? I've never had a seizure. Can I see those eyes? Let me look at your eyes, dude. My dad has my eyes, and I look a lot like my brother. No, you look exactly like your brothers. I'm joking. Damn. No, no, I wasn't yeah. fully joking there. I was like, I'll tell you what. <laughs> That's the only story I know about this guy. And I learned that story pretty young. Like, my mom used to tell me, uh, you know, your real father used to act like this in horror movies, too. <laughs> what? And she goes, what was that? What was that? She what? goes, nothing. Gary was a good guy. He stepped in when your real dad left. What? <laughs> mom, what? She just yells it when you're downstairs in the basement. I want to know what Cliff does. So I know if there was a I'll shot of my life what being, like, wealthy. Is, is watch or is watch fucking Clockwork Orange. Yeah. yeah, no shit. That's what he doesn't do. Do we... Uh, uh, he goes, we have a G-rated house home. He goes, Disney, Disney or bust. <laughs> yeah. I don't even like Pixar. It's a little too uppity. <laughs> it's a little racy and, and, and a little dark at times. He goes, he gets sad. I don't like sad. I need to be happy and up. He goes, uh, the beginning of the movie Up, I almost bit my tongue off. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, uh, three weeks on heavy at opioids. I had, to, uh, I had to be put into a medical coma. <laughs> I almost bit my fucking tongue off. They, I saw how sad it was when he lost his wife and they had to induce me into a coma. By the way, Joe, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> for the big Joe reveal? <laughs> Are you ready for the oh, big... Oh, this is Swimmer Joe. This is Swimmer Joe. We found <laughs> This is him. very exciting Now, let me. me set up the photo. This is big. So, my mom and Joe broke up. And then Joe... She kicked my, she kicked Joe out of my house. Uh, Sorry about all the movement. It's all right. On the day... It was on the day I found out my sister got killed. Joe moved out. So, it was like this weird day. Wow. Yeah. Like, I found out... You were happy about Joe moving out, though. Stoked. I was so I was so on board. He was, I was so stoked on that. I was so I, was, I used a word that I haven't used since I was sixteen. That's how happy I was about it. I was like, "Fuck it!" On the move out day, I was like, "Joe's gone. Long live the king!" <laughs> and like, and your sister's dead. You're like, "Oh man!" Uh, so goes, I found out. Yeah, I would have loved to tell her about Joe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he goes, "Oh man, she would have loved that he moved out. <laughs> she would have loved the Joe news." So Joe moved in with my mom's friend Linda, and then married her. Yeah. Just married my mom's best friend. They stopped being friends. 
Yeah, the whole thing's like uh, super, deadly. super inside baseball, right? Because yeah. it was my Joe is my godfather. He's my dad's ex best friend. Right, your mom <laughs> ripped your dad from some chick. Yeah, some fucking peer pig we call them. <laughs> <laughs> some tomato face lush. <laughs> some- Oh, that fucking pure pig's hilarious. <laughs> some pure pig. Yeah, she goes, Gary's a good lay. I don't know, yeah. they're funny. Yeah. I had to pull him away from some dark slut. Yeah, my mom's like, I beat that shit. She's like, I beat the shit out of her. Play that song I like. <laughs> Play that song I like. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, pulled, so she pulled him away from her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they broke up. Yeah. And then his, your godfather. Yeah. Swooped in. Yeah. And started uh, and, your dad's best friend, and fucking did what they did in the w- and then what they, they did in the old west when someone died and someone just took over his brother's family. Yeah, he basically just did that. And, and then, Joe just took over my dad's family. And then Joe left with Linda. a friend of your mom's. Yeah, and they're still together. Yeah, they're married. That's great. And this is a picture of them together. This is their wedding photo. Oh, buddy, this is going to be so great. How long ago is this? Seventeen. Oh wait, no. Never mind. Yeah, I want to say like ten years. Okay. All right. Ready? Yes. Unveil that shit. <laughs> oh man, that was that was as good. That Seventeen good. years later. Well, they, that it's for. It was on nine eleven. Oh my God! Wait, they got no, married. No, it's, it's on... from the Tribute Museum. Yeah, but I, I what? Think their anniversary is September eleventh. On nine eleven, two thousand one, dude. How perfect is what? that? What? No, it's just a border. Yeah, it's just. I think it's just a profile board. So they're just. She on. just screwed That's up. She, my mom's friend Linda just screwed up and put on a nine eleven border on her wedding photo. Yeah, well, like she had a wedding photo one. as her regular photo, and they. That's had that. so they funny. Just added, they added a fucking fucking like nine eleven. What did a bunch also of also walk for AIDS. <laughs> also, I love my husband, and also, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. It looks oh, like, dude, that's <laughs> them now. Oh, is that the now? Go back to the original picture. <sighs> I'm just gonna say she looks like. Dude, yeah. This is mean. I'm sorry. I don't care. It's my mom's former best friend. Good. I hope Trish will enjoy. I this. got my first beach on. She the looks couch. like what happened. Cat sitting for her. She looks like what you see when you look through the they live glasses of people wait he does or she does she does that face yes dude my mom would love to bring up a they live monster christine this is gonna be my mom's favorite episode my mom's just gonna listen to that over and over again she's like jay nailed it i think i nailed it she's gonna go hey can i adopt jay i hope she gets the reference (laughs) he can see me yeah (laughs) fine yeah find like some that's it i mean i have not there yet that are you gonna tweet it yeah because we're not going to put her name out there. No, no, no. But this is really worth it. I mean, but you got to find a better They Live, I think, than that ultimately. Um, but but do but do that for now. That's so funny to see. What the, yeah, that guy was the guy that I had to go watch swim. I mean, he really... He looks like a not cool professor or, or uh, he looks like a principal. Dick. Like school, like yeah. elementary school principal. He's a dick. He looks like a dick. He used to talk so much shit. I wanted to fight that guy so bad for so many years. Oh, he's got a real hateable face, man. He's a fucking cunt. Very like sharp he features. To, like the, he'd get hammered. You know those people that get hammered and then they just get like fucking mean. Like, yeah, real mean. Like they get drunk and they start saying shit. But your mom always said though, oh, dude, yeah, that's that, so funny. He had that hook. Yeah, that's fucking perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. She does look like a fucking. <laughs> A they live monster. Maybe yeah. that's why she didn't. She was always cool. So she would like go out of town for business or whatever, and I'd watch her cats. I'd just ride my bike to her house. And that was the first place I got a beach. At her place? Yeah. Good. I hope you came on her carpet. No. Piece of shit. But it, yeah, oh, man. What a fucking. Yeah, it's them. Man, he looks like a fucking dickhead. He is. <laughs> Look at him. Oh. Fucking dick. Shirt off. Dude. That's yeah. great. Oh, man, I want to fight that guy. Even standing the way he's standing there, I just know. I wish we could find Nick. That was a good dude. It's kind no, of, but it's more fun to find the jerk Look at him. He looks off. like a fucking asshole. It's more fun to find the jerk-offs, for yeah, sure. You know what's crazy, though? Like Terry O'Quinn. He does look like Terry O'Quinn. <laughs> yes, he does look like Terry O'Quinn. He looks like a lot like Terry O'Quinn. And he, if Terry o- Dude, in my biop, Terry O'Quinn plays Joe. <laughs> you gotta watch me swim, kid! I don't want to. I don't want to put you I want to watch Colorado play Kansas State. Nah, I'm talking about a real sport. Swim. Swimming. <laughs> Dude, he used to watch women's basketball and uh, just like share stats, and I had to act like I cared. I was like, cool, cool, dude. Look at him go. Look at that, though. Yeah. Wearing the same shirt. Same shoes. They're both in Keens. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, dude, he became... Trish is way better off. Oh. Oh, dude, I wonder if we can find Keith, my mom's last boyfriend. Holy stoner. shit. I want to... How about Randy? I can find him. Dude, Keith? Randy. Oh, what's Randy's last name? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Trish. My mom, I said so many things to her on the phone that... uh. You asked her a lot of questions. Yeah, but I said we really got to do the thing where we interview them. Yeah, we have to do the mom. Do we have to do the mom tapes? I think I have uh, a lot of questions. She'll answer them. Yeah, if she doesn't, TNT Joe will. Size queens. The size queens. <laughs> the TNT size queens. Oh, it's gonna be a great double episode. Back at it, back to back. I'd say we'd have an. Uh, we do like just one episode where we combine the hour we do with each. But I think we could do a full two with oh, each mom. What? Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, each mom. Dude, I got a good one. That It'll I... be so telling of of our lives, I think, those interviews. <laughs> well, you also see the relationship a little bit, because you'll see my mom shut me up and me be like, all right, hold on, I'm making a joke. <laughs> you'll see my mom being like, Jason, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. My mom will just go like this, Dan. But she will eventually, like, my mom will go, Jason, please. I go, but uh, come on, mom, you did, right? She's like... It doesn't matter if that's like yeah, she'll, yeah. she'll 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 have that. I want to ask my mom about the reluctant admissions. Doing blow in San Francisco in the seventies and Guillaume Beret. Yeah, that's some great. Some she get any, I wonder if she got any. Did she get any during the Guillaume Beret? She goes, just have at it, buddy. She's like, I don't know, work it over. <laughs> she goes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just said, "Go off your pussy." She goes, "I have no idea." She goes, "Dude, I don't know. You can hit that thing with a." She goes, "You could have you could have punch fucked my asshole for all I know." Oh, yeah, dude. That's my mom's boyfriend that lived with her that fucking took a month. Dude, Joe. The one that she set up? Let me tell you the jobs that Joe had when he lived with my mom. Mailman. Of course. Uh, which one time this kid threw a fucking ice snowball at him and it made me laugh. A lot. And he came home gassed up. He, bar he st tried to start a vending machine business. Yep. And that went tits up because mm -hmm. he had it. He just fucking no one bought it. It was all in like nail salons. It was probably pretty awful. And he counted cars like you, Dan. Uh, croissants in bags. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, you know what me and my friends did? It was right when we started smoking. He counted weed. cars like I did. Yeah. Hell yeah. So that was one of those jokes. That was because my sister would go like this whenever I'd be like, "Yeah, Joe is like really mean to me." My mom's like, "He counts cars." <laughs> like that, when I'd be like, yeah, that said, does breed mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, uh, my, he, you know, I'd call my sister and be like, I don't know. He's like talking shit to me, calling me dumb. She'd be like, Dan, he counts cars. Fucking chill out. This guy's not really one to talk shit right I think now. the other way. I was like, he, Dan, he counts cars. He goes, the guy's a genius, man. <laughs> you know how hard it is to count vehicles Dude, coming from all different directions? They're just, whizzing, crazy. they're just whizzing by, and you're keeping a fucking count of and, and they trust him to keep full count. I mean, come on. Dan, take a look in the mirror. You're you probably wrong. Yeah. Hey, Quasimodo, walk it back to the bell tower. Were you being stupid when he said it? How did you say it? Did you say Jason and I? You said Jason and me? Well, you are fucking dumb. He looks like, man, that chin. He looks like Mac the Knife. Yeah. Yeah, dude. There's times where I just, I just remember saying. Call that the Dookie Digger. Dude. The, the sharp chin like that? <laughs> Dookie Digger? Yeah. The I Dookie Digger. Fucking him. Yeah. I just sit across the dinner table from him, which wanted to fight him. Oh, dude! You know when you just staring someone down like it's a fucking, it's like the only way you get stares like that now is UFC weigh-ins. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, just, I would weigh in, stare at Joe every night at dinner, like I'm gonna fucking knock you out, dude. Do you, uh, Dan? Also, I should give you open range here. I forgot when you're not here and something happens where you should have been here for. Mm -hmm. um, I think you should have your shot to have some laughs at it. Sure. Uh, Ali Sadiq came in last week. Love Ali Sadiq. Uh, great. So cool, fucking it's cool, hilarious. It's a cool vibe energy. We were asking questions. He was being asking them some very hard hitting, dark questions about life in prison. We were talking with him again, and then Jacob asked, uh, and I quote, <laughs> "When you're uh, when you're uh, having to, you know, uh, do do, mm -hmm. no duty, 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 no. do do." I looked it up. No, why? Well, no, he did. That. He did say duty at one point. Was it duty? Duty. Yeah. I know what I said, Lou. Whoa! <laughs> well, you have to do, well, you have to duty? <laughs> yeah. Meh. Duty. You called it duty? He looked a black man with a prison history. And said duty? In the face and said, when you have to duty. When you have to go boom, boom, what do you do? Yeah. <laughs> you go, if you, have to make a, if you have to make an oopsies. Oh, you, you should have done the old grandmother. goes, no, Ali, when you have to make there's in your two, cell. <laughs> there's two words. <laughs> Well, that's one of the words that I just 
I know not to say in public, but I haven't got it out of my system. And I always have to remind myself not to, but I was so into Ali's story. It flew out before I had the chance to take Wait, it back. Hold on, Jacob. Let me understand this correctly. You have to stop yourself from saying duty. I know I know not to say it in public. But is that your but word I think in it's private? a funny word. A duty? Yeah. It is I a funny it's, word. Yeah, I say it all the time, but... Oh, you're a funny not, guy. It's not cool. Uh, well, you know, when a guy's talking about his prison history, I don't think it's the appropriate word. You know what? I didn't think Ali minded. I don't think it's he does either. It's just everyone else in the room had to point it out. Well... <laughs> I mean, it is hilarious that you would call shitting duty. It was weird. Yeah. yeah. It was really, really weird. I, I just know not say, to say it, but... I'm glad we it's... reviewed the case on this episode. <laughs> he said it's say? so low that I couldn't even get it for a drop. So what happened? Yeah. Did it even it. record yes. audio-wise? What are you doing, you duty? No, the, she's going through the pictures up here. I mean, Joe does not look like a guy that it would be awesome to have with your mom. No, nah, man. Especially if it's before their wedding picture here. Because this is the wedding picture of him with the with the new one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's him. And so me. he looked more like that at the time, and man, it really, this guy's an older guy is just whatever. But him as a younger guy, you see the asshole face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a my it's a very my way or the highway face. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, dude. It was one of those. things It's about where... being a little bit of bullyish in the house because he in That's actual life exactly is exactly what he looked like when he lived with me. Like That's... yeah, like like he's a guy like he's a guy that got fucking called a dork a lot and shit. Dude, so I think can I tell he... you this right now? My mom used to call him a dork. It was yeah, the funniest yeah. thing in the world. And she then he like, went off fucking, and... when he left, she was like, he was a dork. <laughs> And you're like, fuck yeah, he was, Trish. Why'd you keep him in the house for five years? <laughs> then he married a woman who has fucking bounty hunter uh, tan line uh, glasses. Oh, like, dude, she just, looks like she always went skiing. <laughs> yeah, but she has the glass yes. circles like Dog the Bounty Hunter. She's all windburn except where she wears her Oakleys. Uh, dude, we just got Bush? fucking We've Randy's got last name. Wait till oh. you see this guy. Is Randy classic? Dude, Randy had weed. It was the first time I smoked mom's boyfriend's weed, and it fucking put me on my ass. <laughs> It was like it was like grown up weed because I don't know if you remember there was a time where it was just like you smoke swag that's what everyone had yeah and then occasionally you get really good pot and Randy was the first guy to have like great weed where I smoked it and I was like I can't handle this shit when I was sixteen <laughs> I was like I got it. someone had to come pick me up Randy 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 had weed and my mom was like do you want some of Randy's weed and I was like yeah <laughs> please have a picture of Randy. <laughs> For the love of we God, we led pretty we led pretty unique lives. Maybe, maybe not. Why? Maybe we have. Maybe our lives aren't that unique. But I mean, these stories are pretty. Like, I mean, I think my mom. I think we're gonna get that my mom's been in more than one physical situations over fucking someone's boyfriend. See, in I my think lifetime, it might be the top one. Well, there's too many. That might be him. That feels like an older gentleman's picture. It's like an avatar picture. I mean, that's why I mean it. What are you saying? That Randy was not a uh, a nighttime bright light cowboy? No. He's on a drawing? Uh, it's not him. Damn it. No, it's oh definitely not him. Oh, my God. It's definitely <laughs> not him. Fucking, that's white supremacist head. Yeah. <laughs> Black Lou. Tell me that guy like that guy like, hates black people. Look at that face. For sure. He really hates him. Yeah. He at least bl he at least yeah. see the deep. He at least blames him, him for his problems. Woo! You know yeah. what? Randy well, I would never break bread with a Jew. Well, there never. it is. If you think about it, Randy is a, a racist's name. Oh yeah, Randy. Yeah. It's a mom's boyfriend or a racist name or the greatest professional wrestler of all. Also my Jewish friend growing up, but still, I'm telling you for sure. No, it is. But here it is. Super racist. <laughs> Look, Gary is a great name for uh, several other things. A disco dancer named Gary is mm. great. Gary the singer is great. I was saying Randy. Randy. No, I'm saying those names, though, can go for different things. Dude, is that Randy? No. God, oh, my wish. God. That would have been fucking fantastic. <laughs> it would have been really great if Is that Randy was a crip? Randy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, when you can find, it's weird that this you know that saying there's only one under the name. Of yeah, that's it's totally yeah, private. Yeah, that's him. That dude's that dude was another guy that tried starting a business with my mom's money. Keith. Whoa. Yeah. What that's was not. That? Is that that might be him? Is that him? Oh, buddy, that would be great. No, that dude Randy gave me his bed. He had a queen size bed, and mm -hmm. he's like, and I just wanted, I needed a new bed, and he's like, "Do you want this queen size bed?" And I was like, "Hell yeah!" And then like, you might want to wash your mom off. Of it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he goes, you might know the smell. You go, hey. <laughs> 
Uh, no, it's not. You might want to wash your mom off. He goes, if it smells like your house, but with rain on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Does it sound like sweat in your house? <laughs> sweat in your house on Friday night. <laughs> uh, but dude, Joe was the one. Joe was the I, It's so. Nothing warms my heart more at 35 years old than to have my friend on my radio show be like, that guy looks like a fucking asshole. Because you're like, yeah, no, he was. Oh, yeah, he was the biggest prick. For sure. And he was the dude that you would hear banging my mom. Yeah. That was the one where you're like, all right, I fucking don't need to hear this. Well, look, the dish told you. The guy was laying down fucking... <laughs> the guy was laying moves down like, hammer Moves like Jagger. Sure. The guy brought a wrench to the party. No, Nick brought the wrench. Oh, really? Oh, Joe yeah. didn't have a right... I thought Joe you saw him riding slip- up his fucking... Uh... <laughs> Joe was slippery and wet. Slippery when wet. <laughs> right, but they, but you got to be comfortable with your body. With yeah, your great. Piece. By the way, great body, but Nick was just a towering man. You saw that, man. That's what I thought he... he I thought that was him, and you could see why... Man, I don't want no oh, trouble man. with you. Well, the thing about having a large penis <laughs> is it can hurt the woman sometimes, and I don't want to hurt your mom. Oh, you know me. I prefer if everybody just got along... You know what? Now come over here. I'm going to show you how to make granola the old way, not the new way. You know, they don't put carburetors in cars anymore. (laughs) But if they did, here's how you'd fix it. (laughs) I'll show you how to dance around a catalytic converter for a 67 Oldsmobile. Sit down. Have a glass of naturally made, naturally made or apple juice. That guy's got bizarre lines in his face. Yeah, he's got old fucking... Wow, I want to tell you. Oh, damn. That's crazy. Dude, uh, Nick, my stepdad, built my mom a 1970 yeah. MGB in our garage. You said that. It's pretty badass. Fucking awesome. He built a dirt bike when I was a kid. And why did he get kicked to the curb? Because my mom just wore him down like a Mexican boxer. Just kept coming at him. Couldn't take it. And it was like, we either have to fight or I have to go? He was like, I'm out. He was like, he just tapped. And I got it. Dude, there was, this weird, there, there was this weird moment where Did Nick your was mom like, acknowledge that now? Is yeah, your mom saying yeah, like, yeah, like, I was a fucking psycho. To him. Yeah, no, one hundred. My mom says like this. She goes, Nick was very nice. We didn't work, right? Because they just didn't work. Because my mom would just fucking come at him, and he's just a nice big guy. <laughs> come at him. He goes, Hum, what's for dinner? Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was asking, what's for dinner? He goes. Uh, I'm supposed to just come up with dinner for you. Like, why? Like, oh, like, okay. Well, you know, I'm some bitch that needs to be in the house making sure to take care of dinner. He goes, no, not at all. No, I just thought you were going to take care of dinner. Goes, oh, I was working on your engine in the you, car. Yeah. In the garage. I was in there building your engine. She goes, oh, you're building. So now I'm supposed to feel guilty. Oh, so I'm supposed to cook you dinner because you're building me a car because you said it was a gift. You said does. it was a gift, but, but I guess I still dude, owe you now. You're not far off. Nice. You're not far off. And then finally he was like, dude, I speak all right, bitch. I'm out of here. There was this weird moment. Where he told me my mom and him were getting a divorce, and I gave him a fucking nod, like a third base coach. That's good, dude. He goes, a lot of fish out there. He goes, a lot of fish in the sea. He goes, I'm getting out of here. And I was like, I understand, man. Godspeed. Godspeed. <laughs> like, you Godspeed. know what I mean? Godspeed. 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 He was, I would say the divorce was like a, um, he was honorably discharged from the marriage. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where it went to me, we're like, Joe, it was a fiery one. And he was like, fuck that guy. He sucks. But Nick, I was like, hey, man, God bless. <laughs> Nick, remember- second. Nick was Nick was who my mom married after my dad and my mom got divorced. And then Joe. So how Joe. long was Nick in the house and how long was Joe in the house? My mom and dad got divorced when I was five. Nick and my mom got married from when I was seven to ten. Joe came twelve to sixteen. And so like from five to twelve no. and was Joe, Joe also just came around as like Uncle Joe. Huh? Joe lived in Lose? Connecticut. Boom. <laughs> Joe was coming a lot. No, Joe lived in Connecticut until I was twelve and then we moved him out to be our roommate and then <laughs> That went wrong. <laughs> then he started. Fuck, dude! I told you guys that story. One one night, I walked by the guest room and the door was open and the bed was made. And I was like, "What the fuck? Where's Joe?" I went downstairs and I was sleeping on the couch. And I was like, "God damn it!" Mm. He was just railing her up. I mean, I don't know at that moment, but he definitely had started to. Ah, uh, uh, so what a weird way to find out, dude! I had to ask my mom. Like, are you and Joe dating? She's like, "How did you find out?" <laughs> I was like, uh, "Fucking the door was open." She's like, "We were gonna tell you. We didn't know when to tell you." But it's hard to talk when there's constantly cock in my mouth. Dan, I'm doing it nonstop. It's crazy. It's, seriously, it's like heroin. I lay down, I want it. I stand up, I want it. I do somersaults, I want it. She goes, Ooh. all day. I smash his nuts with an east end. He's in some pretty uh, sick ass shit. I mean, we go down to the basement. You know your heavy bag? Well, let's just say that's round one. 
Uh, <laughs> dude, it was... Uh, then so I drop a couple of axe kicks right in his fucking yeah! dick. Yeah! You oh. fucking Mexican asshole! Should we take our last break? This show's flying. It's 7.30. We only have a half hour of show left, so let's, uh, let's, let's take our break, and we'll come back and ride this thing out, everybody. Oh, let's do some plugs before we go. Yeah, should we do some plugs real quick? Hell yeah. Plugs. Big J Ogerson. You can download his new album, The Crowdwork Sessions, Volume 2. I promised myself I wouldn't ask. And you can also get tickets for him. He will be at the Comic Strip in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Hey. Canada, October 18th through the 20th. After that, he's going to be in Phoenix, Arizona at the All Things Comedy Festival. It's going to be fucking awesome. It's going to be October 26th and the 27th. Yeah, I'm doing like a theater show out there with uh, Theo Vaughn, Brendan Schaub, Brian Callen, Brendan Ari Schaub. Shafir, I think. Oh, we got to get him on the show. The dude's from Aurora. Yeah, I love to do that. Yeah. We're doing, a, we're doing a, a big theater show out there as part of the festival. I'm doing a What's Your Fucking Deal crowd work show. Hell yeah, and that's not going to be... Comedy Jam. Again, if you're in Phoenix, that's at the All Things Comedy Festival, October 26th and 27th. For tickets, go to BigJComedy.com and then set your fucking calendars because Big J's brand new Netflix special premieres on Tuesday, October 30th as part of the new series the Degenerates Jay let me watch the intro and a little bit of the special it's fucking awesome so check it that's going to be coming out Tuesday October 30th you know we'll talk about that more but again BigJComedy.com for all the ticket dates and Dan Soto going to be at the Santa Ana Star Casino in New Mexico October 5th uh, 191 Tool in Tucson on October 6th and the Tempe Improv in Arizona on October 7th. Uh, Shane Gillis, Gillis is going to yeah, be with you on those shows. On all the shows and that's this weekend. That's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So again, if you're in Arizona, fucking please come out. I'm going to be in Tucson Saturday. I'm going to be in Tempe Sunday. It's a 7 o'clock show. It's, it's Shane's going to be with me. It's going to be fucking fun. Hells yeah, man. We're going to go fuck around. For tickets and all other tour dates for Dan, go to dansoder.com and of course, Best of the Bonfire now available as a podcast. Uh, please download it and everything. We're trying to get uh, Comedy Central has to help us advertise a little more. Give us maybe some social bumps. Yeah, Something. Dude. Retweets? Throw down with us, motherfuckers. Care. We're having fun over here. You act like you care. We're your flagship radio show. Just love us. Love Just love us. us. It's a bonfire. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I hate going shopping for clothes. It's the thing that I hate the most because I just want to get in and get out. I want to get the clothes that I want, and I want to leave. I don't like trying stuff on. You know what yeah, I mean? I hate it. It really is the worst. It's just like you got to deal with other people, and then when you walk out of the dressing room wearing something, and you feel all stupid if someone else is standing there. Oh, just changing in a dressing room in oh, a place at all. Here, Stepping on pins. Putting your heavy jeans on a hook and you hear it bang against the wall. And you're like, that's my stuff. Well, if you're sick of waiting in long lines and cramped dressing rooms and endlessly searching for your size, stop. Those days are over. Introducing Bombfell. It's the easiest way for guys to get better clothes. It's no shopping required. You get matched with a dedicated personal stylist who sends you clothes from the best brands on your fit and taste right to the door. You get to try everything on in the comfort of your own home, pay only for what you keep, and then send back the rest with free return shipping. Seriously, that simple. You can get 20% off when you buy multiple items. So what are you going to do? You're going to go to those awful stores and just stand in line holding pants, feeling like a jerk? Or you're going to have them sit to your house and try them on and send it back and, you know, Get so dapper. Look at that picture. Yeah, hundreds of thousands of men across the country are talking about it. You know who does this? Fart box. Does he, does he really? Bom- he does bomb fell. He's been doing bomb fell. Nice. He didn't tell me. I hope he's wearing that thing. He goes, I want to go watch a concert in the park. Hell yeah. Bombfell.com slash bonfire and get $25 off your first purchase. That's B-O-M-B-F-E-L-L dot com slash bonfire for $25 off. Bombfell.com. Bombfell. Bombfell.com slash Bonfire. Yeah, dude. Celebrate it. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Do it. It's the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio Series XM95. Mm. Big J Okerson, Dan Soder. Mm-hmm. We found out that uh, Joe, mm-hmm. your, your yeah. mom's Joe, yeah. is uh, I mean, <laughs> the fucking way he looks. Yeah. Is that uh, we say he looks like Terry O'Quinn. Uh, the the new wife looks like the they live creature and yeah. at insult to injury what they seem to love is borders on Facebook is just getting involved in borders so they just have their 
wedding picture surrounded by everything from autism awareness, 9-11, 9-11 tribute museum, which is on the same want? picture. <laughs> what, what, else? what else do you guys want? That's Bush a, Gardens? Yeah, it's a multi-personal thing. You want the water log ride at Disneyland? <laughs> oh. The flume? There it is, Lou. There it is. You want to do the Lindsay Lohan video? Oh, buddy. I think we're going to take a little time with that. <laughs> I think I think that's a, that's a better video than you're thinking. It's, oh, that's an hour video? It's bonkers. Black Lou's nodding his head. It's absolutely uh, okay. All right. bonkers. I don't Here's what I can do for I 15 minutes. I don't give a fuck. And while we pull it up, uh, I can tell you about one of our wonderful sponsors. But if you could bring up, we have not talked about one of our old friends, Princess Vitara, has got a new song out. Hell right? and yeah. I'll tell you, I'll take a peek at that for a few. Yeah. I'll take a drink of water with that. Mm-hmm. Um, but first, let me tell you that in many bedrooms, bedtime is, you know, complicated. It is. Especially as the weather begins to cool. It was actually downright cold. Love it. Uh, and Live this, it. Love it. Embrace it's it. It's just a woman. I, uh, can we not use that real song in a thing? Do we get licensing problems? Mm-hmm. I was in Calgary this last weekend, not in bed. It was very cold. Yeah. First time being cold and you have to be a hotel bed. Not fun. And not my own you sheets. I yeah. hate it. Uh, one person sleeps soundly. The other is either freezing or way too hot, as in my case this weekend, as me and Christine were away from each other. Bowl and Branch, makers of the world's most comfortable sheets, loved by three U.S. presidents, are offering their luxury flannel bedding for a limited time at bowlandbranch.com. What? They're unbelievably soft, warm, and breathable. So important. There. And everyone stays the right temperature. Got to. Their flannel sheets come in 14 stunning patterns and colors. You're guaranteed to find a style you'll love. Plus, you can try them for 30 nights risk-free. What? That's a whole month risk-free. But whatever you do, don't wait. Last year, their flannel sheets sold out in just a few weeks. So go to BowlingBranch.com today for $50 off your first set of sheets plus free shipping with promo code Bonfire. That's $50 off plus free shipping right now at BowlingBranch.com. Promo code Bonfire. BowlingBranch.com, spelled B-O-L-L, and Branch.com. Promo code Bonfire? Yes. See, this is how you get, <laughs> so you get rid of it. You guys you were like, whoa, are they going to do a read in the middle of the show? Oh, we did. Yeah. And, and then then we just did. And guess what? Princess Vitara song's up. You have. Hit it! it! Princess Vitara! Production still works. Uh, 2018! Oh, Production's still pretty much on point. She's hanging out with more white people now, though. Ah, uh, eating ass. I swallow his kids. Uh. I swallow his kids. I swallow his kids. Now you, you're now they swimming in my stomach. Okay. I swallow his kids. I swallow his okay. kids. I swallow his kids. Now they if she's a comedian, she's a fucking genius. I swallow his kids. I swallow his kids. I swallow. I don't have my stomach, bitch. I'm hollow. I swallow. You don't have a stomach, she's hollow. I swallow his kids. I don't know what. I'll tell you what, with each song, she turns me on more and more. Look at Jacob. Looks like a, like a sharky producer staring her down. He goes, You are I can amazing. Do, I can do things with you. Yeah. Yeah, I like having her, her, like, her weird... Her odd-shaped white friends behind her. Yeah. That fucking bridge kid on the left. Dude. It's just some, it's just some uh, Phoenix I suburb. Dick like all day. I like sucking dick because it tastes like watermelon. I mean, honestly, God, that's, back this that up was a little borderline bit. racist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, but she's saying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, if how, you want me to suck is... yo dick, you better put fried chicken on it. Rob, fried Grace. chicken on it. Rob grease on it. Uh, Cause who? a brother eat a bitch, you'll eat anything. Dip your dick in ranch. Uh, I'll eat anything that you dip in ranch. It'd be so disappointing to get a blowjob from her, and it's just awful. It's just like geez, all teeth. You know what I mean? But like, she just talks all this shit, and then she's like, "I'm actually quite tame in the bedroom." Yeah, okay, she goes, "Oh, I talk a lot of shit." But she goes, I don't even suck that. dick. I think it's disgusting. It's like, can you? Uh, what you have a song called "I Swallow His Kids," and she goes, "I mean, it's a metaphor." Yeah, I it's a metaphor kids. for like, like his I information, in, like you know who he is. I take in his essence. His ass, exactly. God, and did it, you it think becomes, that was? It becomes part of me, the and then problem. I put that out to the this world. This is the problem with today's world: is everyone so literal? I I don't eat his semen. I take in his children. Idiots. Idiots. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Keep going back to the song because she really lays it down of how good she likes to. Watermelon. 
Melon. Oh. Please, not on my face. I rub it in my face like a facial. My skin is clear. No, I swallow his kids. I swallow his kids. I swallow his kids. Oh, his kids. Oh, his kids. I swallow his kids. Oh, now they swimming in my stomach. Oh, I swallow kids. Swallow. 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 Can you bring up the lyrics? Can you find the actual lyrics? Yeah. Yeah, don't worry, I got them. Uh, I swallow his kids. Uh, I dude. swallow his kids. You know what's the problem with you, dude? <laughs> you know what's the problem with you? She wants a 20-inch dick. Can we play that real quick? Dude, if I don't dance, I'm going to die. I know. <laughs> Are you? This is going to play another song in a second, Christine. Can you uh, please... Uh, you go back to the beginning of Princess Fatara. Hey, yeah, we do. We need the lyrics on this one. I swallow his kids. I swallow his kids. I like it's... sucking dick because it tastes like watermelon. I mean, this is. <laughs> if you guys just think this is about blowjobs, you're dumb. This is about United States global hegemony. Yeah, you idiots don't get it. But the dick must be the right size. Mm -hmm. I want 20 inch from top to the end. What? Dick so big, I can feel it in my head. I want a big dick. I want a big stick. I want a big, big. Hitch like a shit brick. However you prefer to call a dick, that's fine. We've watched this. Jacob, I know, but it really looks like this is like... A night, like a, this is what Jacob's nightmares are. <laughs> she goes, You better have a big dick. 20 inch or don't come in. Okay, so we found the line. Okay. We found the lyrics. It's, I swallow his kids three times. I swallow his kids. I so, swallow yeah. his kids. X3. I swallow his kids. Then, now, they swim in my stomach. I you repeat this again. His kids. Of course. I swallow his kids. I swallow his kids. <laughs> now they swim in my stomach. His kids I swallow. His kids. I, now that's three times. His kids I swallow three times, followed by, I don't got no stomach. Bitch, I'm hollow. It's not like seeing the words to homeless, homeward bound on paper, is it? But doesn't that mean she? I I I don't got no stomach is a double negative, meaning she has a stomach. Uh, I don't got no stomach. Yeah, well, you know what's funny? She hasn't used that uh, masters in English she got from Purdue in yeah. a while. I mean, she is. She's a linguist. Uh, Bitch, I'm hollow. I swallow those kids back to the chorus. Of course. Now they swim in my stomach. Now, now the verse. Keep swimming. Go fishy. Go sperm. A. <laughs> <laughs> got, Dan? Dude, got life jackets, got boats, lightsabers, hey. Just keep swimming like Nemo Dory Corey. <laughs> it's a murder scene, but it's not gory. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a thick bitch, bad bitch. Thick lips, knack this. I can't waste a package. I'm planning on to, I'm planning to do some damage. Now, here's where we get deep. Yeah. My kitty got him acapelling. The Tara's secret, I can't tell him. I rock him like a fella. So good I should be selling. Uh, I be sucking dick like all day. I like sucking dick because it tastes like water. Watermelon. <laughs> Please nut on my face. I rub it in my face. <laughs> like a facial. My skin is clear, no pimple. I swallow his kids. I swallow his kids. I swallow his kids. Now they swim in my stomach. I swallow his kids. I swallow his kids. I swallow his kids. Now they swim in my stomach. His kids. I swallow his kids. I swallow his kids. I swallow. I don't got no stomach, bitch. I'm hollow. There's gotta be another verse. Oh, no, that's it, dude. Why, dude? That one verse lets you know everything you need to know. How does that verse go back down to the verse? Fourteen bars. I'm out. She goes, if you want me to have a longer song, <laughs> give me a longer dick. Do you eat ass, ass, ass? Do you eat ass, ass, ass? By the way, there might be another star in the world of a... Uh, Do you eat ass, Can you bring ass, up that, ass? that one, Christine? I got... There's a guy's, again, World Star Hip Hop thing, but it's straight audio. Don't worry. It's an African guy, I think, in a studio. He got studio time. Mm hmm uh, it's what label he's signing to, which someone you click it, you're like, oh, is this somebody who's really weirdly a great singer? Yeah, because he looks like a uh, like some like City of God fucking kid or something. Yeah. <laughs> and then boy, he does look like I'm the captain now. He goes, it looks like Michael Blackson got put in a microwave, and it's unbelievable. He played the, it's played half the, crying, half rapping. The crying part is the only studio. part I walked in on the office. That's the only part. Make I saw. a big screen. 
Because <coughs> do you eat? I just buckle well, up. How great would it be if he's like, I swallow his kids. I swallow I sh- his kids. Like, oh man, he's biting Vitara. This makes that look like Chuck D lyrics. Yeah, here we go. If you teach me why, I go teach you why. No more stimulus, no paper. Hey, you're not straight up. Stand up. Hey, you're not prepared. My name is Kevin Mami, 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 do not yell that at the sun. <laughs> you do not want the sun to leave you. Why the sun are you? We'll be angry. Why are you yelling at Katie Mummy? <laughs> you yell Katie Mummy, it will go. He's crying, which is the weirdest part. It's like uh, Broadway. Yeah. Get him, Mummy, get him. Oh, no. Oh, when oh. I walk the streets. <laughs> he just goes right into a show tune. Get him. Listen to the music of the night. Can you buy me go? Can you buy me go? Can you buy me go? It's it's, uh, it's opera actually. Oh, yes, I love you. Get him, mama, get him, mama, get him, mama. Oh. Princess Vitara has got a hit. I don't know what that was, but I swallow his kids. Yeah, it's honestly, it, it, do you eat ass? Is a thing of the past. Yeah. Well, she, I don't she, know. You played she it. Erased, she erased her own hit. I don't think so because I think the arrangement on "Do You Eat Ass" is way better. Because no, give me a little. You're wrong. No, listen, it hits. Go ahead, go back to it. Do Put it. them up against each other right now, back to back. Tell me what you like. It's the Vitara challenge. This is easy. <laughs> That's produced. Way better. Thank you. Right, Black Lou? Way, way, way better. This is her hit. Isn't this Vitara? Vitara. Princess Vitara. This is losing the lead up, and then it hits? Uh, what? Uh. So you don't want to eat my ass, hmm? but you want me to suck your dick. All you DJ Khaled type guys, and I swear you just they make me sick. Dude, her chubby white friends being crowbarred in every video is so funny. No, the, the girls that work at her at Buffalo Wild Wings that come over to her apartment to film the videos. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Debois. Hey. <laughs> hey, Cody, but you're a girl. Yes. Us. All right, now play us what Jay thinks is it. Get out of here. She's in better shape. She's in much better shape. She's in way better shape. <laughs> they sound very similar musically. Yeah, right? Here it is. I swallow his kids. I swallow his kids. I swallow his kids. Now they swim in my stomach. Oh, dude, it's going. His kids. I swallow his kids. I swallow his kids. Now they swim in my stomach. His kids. I swallow his kids. I swallow his kids. I swallow. Bitch, I'm hollow. <laughs> oh, no, I don't got no stomach. Bitch, I'm hollow. His kids. I swallow. His kids. Now they swimming in my stomach. Keep swimming. Go, bitch. She go sperm. Hey, got life jackets. Got both lifesavers. Hey, just keep swimming like Nemo. Sorry, sorry. Swimming on my red team, but it's not cool. I'm a thick bitch. Fat bitch. Thick lips. Not this. I can't waste a package. I'm planning to do some damage. My kitty got him. Gonna be a favorite moment of mine, Dan. The next time we do a live show, which we should announce soon, we should figure something out soon. I missed. I like doing uh, something a live event for the fans, but uh, there is gonna be a moment when that comes on and the crowd is gonna go. Tate's like watermelon. I have a vision in my head that's gonna happen. swallow his kids. I swallow his kids. kids. Now they take like watermelon. Follow us at the Bonfire SXM Twitter, Instagram, all that shit, and we'll uh, you know that's where we tweet all this stuff out, and of course BigJComedy.com. We put on twenty inch dick for the background of our. Plugs. Especially if you're in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Big J's going to be there.
October 18th through the 20th. And then uh, at the All Things Comedy Festival in Phoenix, Arizona, October 26th and 27th. Go get tickets at BigJComedy.com. And then put it down on your calendar, October 30th, the day before Halloween. Big J special. New half hour on Netflix coming out as part of the Degenerates. And so. Skank's also, Skank's coming to... L.A. Uh, L.A. Yeah, in like two weeks. So uh, we're going to be at the Comedy Store, two nights podcast, one night live show. I don't know if they're on sale yet, but... It will be soon. It's going to be Tuesday the 16th and Wednesday the 17th, yeah. but it's Right before not... I go to Edmonton. Yeah. Yeah, so come check that out if you're in things. Definitely. Uh, we have some other fun things we're thinking about doing uh, mm-hmm. that we, me and Dan, we're talking about. Oh, yeah. Some crossover fun stuff. Uh, Dan's going to be at the Santa Ana Star Casino in New Mexico, October 5th. Uh, 191 Tool in Tucson, Arizona. And uh, October, that's October 6th. And then the Tempe Improv in Tempe, Arizona, October 7th. For tickets and all the tour dates, visit dansoder.com. Shane Gill's going to be on those shows. Yeah, so that's, you get a nice that's, little that's, fucking that little extra treat for you guys. Yeah, because DC and Baltimore, I'm coming there and, and the week after. But this week, let's just fucking Arizona and, and New Mexico. Dansoder.com, be at San Diego Star Casino, and then Tucson and Tempe, Saturday and Sunday. Make us believe. Make us believe this show is killing the game and you guys are going to fill that fucking place up. Maybe we can get Princess Vitar to come do a live show. Oh, if you do, you know, one thing's for sure. So I'll swallow, swallow your kids. kids. You'll swallow your kids. kids. Swallow. Um, I'm home. Best of the Bonfire podcast. Please download uh, wherever you get podcasts from. Support, review, rate. Uh, give us five star reviews. You know, let everybody know you're listening here because uh, I just think Comedy Central doesn't give two ball sacks. Yeah, but we're leaving. This is our last week in Studio Five, but we'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow to enjoy it. It's the last week, everybody. It's the what a shame. At, at the end, at the end, we're gonna have to do the thing where we turn off the light, yep. look back, and see a memory of us. We have to cheers it. That's it. Uh, we love you guys. Catch you tomorrow. Crackle, crackle. Crackle. I drop another hit real quick, no problem. I want dick so big, I can feel it in my head. His dick is so big, I can feel it in my head. <laughs>